Hi friends, happy Saturday. It's beautiful outside, at least here in Chicago. Of course, do I really know? Cause I haven't really left the house um, for like a couple of weeks now. So who actually knows, but it looks very sunny and beautiful outside. So I'm just going with that. Um, Good to see everyone. Um, we have kind of an odd combination today. Uh, we are doing some forearm stuff and some hips primarily. Of course, that's not always isolated into uh, those two things. So of course, other things will happen, but we will be doing a little bit more focus on forearms and uh, hips today. I'm Jen. For those of you who don't know me, thanks for joining. Uh, it's always kind of interesting uh, to see like wild card what's going to happen. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm glad that you're here. If you already know that when you do tabletop, just like this, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, if you already know that your wrists don't like being in that, um, in that 90 degree position, uh, a good alternative is just to have just a block or something underneath your wrist. And so it gives it a little bit of cushion. You might be able to um, find uh, some, I don't know, relief with a, with a little bit of elevation here. So that might be for you. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight onto the floor, but I don't think um, we need anything else uh, but that, if you want it. You don't have to have it. We're doing just a little bit of forearm stuff. I know Rochelle had mentioned uh, she was like losing like grip strength and like finger strength stuff. So I just wanted to pop that in. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to be the expert on grip strength, so I'm not going to pe pretend to be. Um, but there are certain things that I have been doing um, that to me have been quite helpful. So with the forearm thing, that's what I'm going to throw in. Um, and then hopefully you find it helpful as well. But we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn the music on. And again, if you're just joining, thank you. I know it's so beautiful outside. So you had choices for sure today. Um, and we will get started here. All right. So I had mentioned earlier, if your forearms are no good. Hi, Grace. Um, not your forearms. I'm sorry. Your wrists are no good. Just have something here to press on top of. Okay. Hi, Fong. All right, we'll start with just a couple of wrist circles, nice and easy. Good, switch your direction. Nice and easy. Good. And then from here, press your hands out. Right. Once you press your hands out toward your screen, just do a couple of these. Bring your fingers back toward your face. Fingers back toward your face. Fingers back. Fingers back. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four. Good. Three, two, one. And then flip these fingers out to the right, to the left. So it looks like this. And again, keep sending your fingers back toward you. And then pulse back. Fingers go back and then natural. Go back, go back. And do it as much as your body allows you to go, right? So finding some a little bit more range of motion here best we can. Let's do eight more to finish on this thing. Go eight, go seven, go six, Go five, four more. Four, three, feels a little weird, yeah, two, one. Okay, flip these fingers down to face the floor. All right, again, fingers come back toward you. So back, fingers back toward you. Yes. So best you can, you get your palms maybe directly parallel to your screen. Maybe even beyond. Yeah, exactly. That's right. You have eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Drop your shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it loose a little bit. We're doing a little bit more here. So find your tabletop. As I mentioned before, if you don't like being on your hands in this position, grab something else so you can be on top. Okay. 
Just lift your heels of your palms up and down. Heels of your palms up, down. Lift, 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 lift. In the beginning, if it's your first time doing this, it'll feel a little bit weird, but try to allow your arms to bear more of your weight. Lift, lift, your palms, the butt of your palms, lifts up, continue here. Lift, 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 that's right, lift. So getting a little bit of a pump in our forearms, up and down here with our heels of our palm. Lift, lift, that's right. So I do a hundred of these every single day. And to me, they're quite helpful. At least I feel something in my forearms. <laughs> lift, lift, lift. You have last eight. Go, eight, seven, six, five, four more. Four, three, we'll face these fingers out to the right, to the left. All right, here we go, lift. Lift, lift, yep, lift, lift, and if you find this is too much weight or too much pressure on your wrists, you can always kind of lean back a little bit farther and let your legs bear more of your weight, but if you can manage it, your shoulders stay right on top of your uh, wrist, just like you would normally. <laughs> yes, I'm only a hundred a day. Um, you know, now that we're not uh, really on the wall anymore, I have to find ways to get that forearm pumped. All right, we'll do a few more. Lift. I only do the uh, fingers facing forward version though, so I don't do this one, but maybe I'll add it. And it doesn't take long. You could be in between like cooking breakfast uh, and making coffee and do, pump these out, right? Get them done. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Really nice. Shake these guys out. All right. We'll just do one little uh, massage thing for. We'll take this um, um, right forearm and just press it down toward the floor, palm facing up. And then walk your left knee on top of your right forearm and just give it a massage right, left, forward, back. Yes. And if you like, prefer to stay in one spot instead, totally do that. Uh, for me, I kind of like just going right and left. And this is so nice because you can adjust how much weight you're applying into your forearm. Okay, let's switch the sides. So your left forearm goes down and then walk up your right knee on top of your left forearm. And again, give yourself just a little massage here. Someone is mentioning to me that she had a sprain kind of where her hamstring met her um, bottom. And for me, I, um, I've had that injury as well and it's still, it's unfortunately persistent, but massage is quite helpful. And so um, anytime you can give yourself just a little massage, why not? It's super easy and uh, you don't need someone else to help you do it. All right. And gently let's bring ourselves up. We'll go to an asymmetrical position so your right forearm is back down onto the floor and your left hand props. And then we're just warming up our hips here. So send your left leg back behind you. Lift it up. You bring your left knee to your chest, out to your left, and then all the way back behind. So keep the bent leg here. Three more. Knee to chest. Knee out left. Take it all the way back behind your biggest circle. Two more. Knee to chest. Knee out to the left. Knee all the way up high. Last time, knee to your chest. Knee out to your left. Knee all the way up high toward this ceiling. Good, you'll reverse this. So lift up, send your knee out to the left. Chest, take it up, open. Good, three more. Take it out to your left. Knee to your chest. Lift it all the way. We're going for big, big circles here. Two more. 
Knee up left, chest, take it up. Your last one. Out to your left, chest, take it up. And then straighten out your legs, send it out to your left, bring it back. Send it out to your left, bring it back. Out to your left, bring it back. Out to your left, hold this one. Bend your left leg, bend, straighten, bend. Keep the height of your knee. Two more, bend, straighten. Last one, bend, straighten. Little pulse here, lift, lift, lift. Let's pull your belly in so there's no crunch in your low back. Eight more, last, eight, seven. Flex your foot, five. Straighten out your left leg. Very good, release. All right, switch it out. Left forearm down, right hand props. Send your right leg back, lift, and then we'll bend it. So bend your left, or right leg, knee to chest. In, out to your right, take it all the way back. Three more like this. Big circles, knee to your chest, out to your right, take it all the way up. Two more times. Knee to chest, knee out to the right. Knee all the way up and back. Last time, knee to chest, knee out to the right. Really use your glutes, send it all the way up higher. Reverse it, so lift up, out to your right. Chest, take it up, out to your right. Chest, take it all the way up. Two more times, out to your right. Knee to chest, take it all the way up. Out to your right, knee to your chest, take it all the way up. Flex your foot, straighten out your right leg, send it out to your right. Right, take it back. Three, back, two, last one. Hold it there, bend, bend, straighten. Three, straighten, two more. Bend, straighten. Last one, straighten, little pulses, flex your foot, lift, 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 so tiny. Your right leg out to your right. Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, release, great job. You should feel a little bit of work here now in your hips, your butt area. And then let's send out, we're gonna be working the left quad first. So send your right foot forward and gentle do some hinges here. So hinge forward, take it back. Hinge forward, take it back. As you hinge, you to shift forward into the soft part of your left thigh as opposed to the hard part of your knee. Good, pause there. Arms go all the way up. Goal post, chest up. Open your chest. Think cow and then cat round. Go open. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, open your chest, elbows out wide. Exhale, round. Last time, open your chest. Stay right here. Think that your chest is facing up toward the ceiling and the arch in your spine is right here in your mid up back as opposed to crunching down into your low back. One more breath. Inhale, lift, chest up. Exhale, maybe send your chest up to face the ceiling even more. Good, gently inhale, arms up. Lower your hands inside of your right foot. Good. Shift forward a little bit more. That's good, Paula. All right, shift forward more. So instead of the hard part of your knee on your on the soft part of your left thigh, and then if this feels okay, you come down to your elbows. You don't have to. Or you don't have to. Check your spine, not rounded, hunched over. Think long. Open your chest best you can. Find some space, and so that your uh, right elbow is not lifted, you try to find even distribution through your forearms, just the best you can. Hold right here and really allow the top of your left thigh to make its way closer and closer to the floor. All right, hold right here for 
two, and one. From this place, you can stay down here or come back onto your hands, bend up your left leg, lower. Three more times, lower. Two more times, bend it, lower. Last time, one. Good, you can reach around now, right hand, reach for your left foot, and gently pull this heel into your butt. If you're like, this does not work for me, come up onto your left hand and then try from there. If it still doesn't work, maybe grab something like a strap or a shirt to pull this foot in closer. Still, think about leaning this left hip down, open up your chest toward your right thigh, hold right here for four, nice quad stretch, nice twist, and gently release. Good, let's switch out our sides. So take your right leg back, put your left foot forward. And just a couple of times, lean and lean. Two more times, lean forward. And last time, lean. Good. Once you find that place, again, rather than the hard part of your right knee, shift forward a little bit more. You're on the soft part of your right thigh. Pick up your arms, lift. Open your chest, easy to get super ribby here. Pull your navel in, lift up tall through your chest. And think about those cat cows here, inhale. Elbows out wide, goal post, lift your chest up, chest up toward the ceiling. Exhale, round, separate your blades. Inhale, open your chest, squeeze your blades, relax your shoulders. Exhale, round, two more time. Open your chest, and round, hollow. Last time, open your chest, hold right here, breathe. Lift your chest up even taller. I'm digging my nail into your up back. Stay open, stay tall, lean your hips forward. One more breath in, stay lifted, one more breath out. Good, release your arms. Uh, let's bring these hands down inside of our left foot. Good. Again, you can stay up here, or if you feel like you um, can go a little bit deeper, start to walk your elbows, forearms down toward the floor. My spine immediately starts to round, so I have to work to lengthen open, right? Try to find even distribution of your elbows, your forearms. Hang out right there. Breathe nice and easy. Feel your right quad, right? Nice little stretch, your right hip flexor, get a nice little stretch. And open your chest just a little bit more. Lean into your hips. The top of your right thigh closer and closer to the floor. All right. Your next one, you bend your right leg. We do that four times, so let's try it. Bend your right leg, four. Heel into butt, release. Three more times, three. And return two more times. Two. And last time, one. You can stay down here, pick up your left arm, reach around for your right foot, and squeeze your heel into your butt. Or if you're like, that's not working for me, come up onto your hand and try it from there. Reach around, reach for your heel, or sorry, for your foot, and squeeze your heel in close with your butt. Open your chest. Good, hang out here for just a little bit longer. Hold for four, you got it. For three, allow your right thigh to come closer and closer to the floor. For two, and for one, gently release. Lower your hands inside, send your left leg back behind. Good, just find a kneeling position, nice and easy, hands behind your head. Inhale, open your chest. Broaden out through your front body. Exhale, go round. Three more times. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round. Two more times. Inhale, open your chest. Send your chest to face the ceiling. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, go round. 
good. Gently come back to neutral. Release your arms. Come up to standing. All right, from here, let's just bring our hands to our waist to start. Pick up your right leg lift. So you're just marching in place, right, left, right, left, right. Point your toes each time. Nice and easy. Eight more, eight, seven, six, tall, four, three. Change it to a turned out position. So now, the arch side of your foot faces the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, one. Hold this one now. Your right toes, or your right arch side faces up toward the ceiling. Hold, breathe, chest up. Good, and then swing your right shin out to the side. And bring it in again. Hold, good, and then out. Do it again. In. You bend your base leg and out. Good, a little faster. In, out, in. Nice. In, out. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Release. Slight bend in your right leg. Pick up your left. Find the turnout. Your arch side faces up toward the ceiling. Beautiful. Good. Just hinging at your knee. Take your left leg out to the left. Good. And bring it in. Take it out. Very good. Do it again. Go in. Take it out. A little faster here. In, out, in, out. Nice. How's your balance? Stay tall. Eight more. Eight. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Okay, your weight is back onto your left leg then. Hands to your head. Knee out to your left. Take it all the way out to your right. Lower back down. Do it again. Left knee out to the left. Out to your right. Lower it down. A little faster. Right knee goes. Knee out. Lower. Knee out. Lower. Two more. Knee out. Lower. Last time. Knee out. Reverse it. Knee out to the right. Right. Cross over your belly button. Right, cross over your belly button. You keep your strong balance. Last time, cross it over. Good, do the other side. Left knee out to the right, open out to the left, lower. Do it again, left knee out to the right. Take it out to your left, lower. Let's do it, left knee, go. Out, lower. Left. Good. Cross it across your belly button. Very nice. Knee out to your right. Let's reverse it here. Knee to the left. Cross at your belly button. Knee. Cross at your belly button. Get a little taller. Knee. Cross your belly button. Last time. Very good. Do your right leg now. Knee to your left. Out to your right. Straighten out your right leg. Lower down. Do it again. Knee to your left, out to your right, straighten. Two more times. Knee to your left, out to your right, straighten, lengthen, lower it down. Very good control. Knee, out to the right, straighten, lengthen. Let's reverse this. So, straight leg, bend, cross your belly button, lower it down. Straight leg out to the right, out. Bend, cross your belly button. Two more times, straight leg, lift. You go bend, cross your belly button, keep the height of your knee. Last time, out, bend, cross your belly button. Do the other leg, knee out to your right, 
Out to your left. Straighten. Lower down. Again, knee to your right. Over your left. Straighten. Stay tall. Two more. Yeah. Last time. Knee to your right. Over to your left. Straighten. Reverse it. So straight leg. Bend. Cross your belly button over to your right. Try to keep your chest square. Straighten. Bend. And then hike your knee. Awesome. Two more. Lift. Bend. Cross. Your final. Straighten. Bend. Cross your belly button. Nice job. Shake out these legs. Open up to second position. Sit down. Right, stuff we know. Sit down. Again, go sit down. Good, do gentle flares of these knees out to the right, to the left. Back, back. Sit down low. These knees gently go back. Out, 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 out. Good. You know this. Out, see so brain doesn't have to think quite so much, but we still reinforce these hips. Nice open. Drop your shoulders. Lift up tall through your chest. You've got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Four, three, two, one. Gently come up. Okay. So we start from the back side this time. Bend your legs, your feet in like a gentle first position. Send your right leg back behind you. Your base leg's your left. Bend your right left leg. Take your right leg lifted and then bend it. All right, from here. Straighten your right leg. Bend it, yes. Straighten your right leg. Bend it. Keep your right knee up. Two more. One more time. You straighten. You bend. Send it over to your right. And bend. Both legs straighten. Or sorry, your left leg straightens. Bend. Left leg straightens. Bend. Left leg straightens. Bend. Pulse. Go lift. 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 Good. Lift. Still keep the height of your right knee. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Circle this right knee all the way over to the right. Straighten out your left leg. Keep the height of your right knee. Flex your foot. Pulse. Lift. Lift. Go ahead. Lift. Lift. Maintain your balance. Get a little bit taller. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Circle it all the way back. Bend and lengthen, release. Let's switch to the other side. All right, so you're in that mild, like first position. Bend your right leg, send your left leg back behind you. Find that place. Hold. Keep the height of your left knee. All right. Bend your left leg. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Two more. Bend. Straighten. Bend, straighten. Once you send it over to your left hand side, straighten out your right leg, take it back again. And go lift, take it back, bend. And send it out to your left, and bend. Last time, send it over, and bend. Flex your foot, little pulses here, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Get your left knee up higher. You have eight more. You have eight, seven, six. Pull your navel in tight. Four, three, two, one. Again, as you send your left knee over to your left, straighten out your right leg. Keep the height of your left knee. Pulse, go lift, lift. Very good, lift, lift. Chest up, pull your belly in. Get taller, last eight, eight, seven, six, Five, four more, four, almost there. Three, two, one. Send this left leg all the way around. Find your place, bend, both legs bent. And straighten, release, nice job. 
All right. Shift your weight back onto your left leg. Hike your right knee up out toward this side, just like we did earlier. I should start you from this way, actually. Okay. Keep the height of your right knee. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. 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 Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold. Hinge forward. Take it up. I'm going to shift over this way. Hinge. Take it up. Two more times like that. Hinge. Hinge. Send your butt out. Take yourself back up. Last time. Hinge. Hinge. Bring yourself back up. Bend and release. Nice job. All right. Shift your weight into your right leg. Hike up your left knee. Straighten. Straighten your left. Straighten your left. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold this one. Hinge. Lift back up. You have that perfect 90 degrees. Hinge again. Hinge. Fight for your balance. Bring yourself back up. Two more. Hinge. Stick your butt out. Bring yourself back up. Last time. Hinge. Take yourself back up. And bend. Woo. And gently release. Nice job. Take yourself into downward facing dog. So walk yourself out. Okay. Find that good place here. Breathe nice and easy. Send your weight back. All right. Send your left leg up high toward the ceiling. Breathe. As you send your left heel up, drop your right heel down. Separate your heels. All right, take your left leg, flexed foot, out to your left. Bring it back. Back to the downward facing dog, three-legged dog, out to your left. Take it back up. Two more times. Out to your left. Take it all the way back. And up. Last time. All the way up to the left. And bring it back up. Lower your left foot down. Take it out to your left. Circle all the way up. High. Again. Lower your foot down. Send it out to your left. Bring it all the way up. And lower down. Reverse it. Left leg goes up. Take it out to your left. Lower your foot down. Last time. Lift. Take it out to your left. Lower your foot down. Great. Send your right leg up. Lift. All right. Keep your weight back into your left leg. And again, spend some moment, uh, spend time here. As you send your right heel up, lower your left heel down. Separate your heels. Okay. Send your right foot out to your right. Out. Take it back up. Continue. Out to your right. Nice and high. Take it all the way up. Two more times. Out to your right. Really use your butt. Take it all the way up. Last time. Hike it. Lift and all the way up to your right. Take it back up. All right. Lift up and then out. Lower your foot back down. Do it again. Lift up. Take it out. Lower your foot back down. All right, go lift. Lower your foot down. Take it to the side. And all the way up. Down. Out to your right. Take it all the way up. And lower your foot down. Really nice. Step your left foot forward. All right. You're in sort of a lunge. We're not here very long. And once you shift forward, send your right leg up high toward the ceiling. All right. Give your right leg up. This time, point your right toes. Lift. Bring your right knee into your chest. And as you do, start to upright your spine. Bend your left leg. See if you send your right leg forward. How'd you do? 
Again, find your tuck, bend your right leg in, send your right leg all the way up high towards the ceiling. We're back into that split. Do it again. So right knee goes into your chest, pull your navel in tight, send your right leg forward. Okay, push yourself up, bend your right leg in, send your right leg up. Two more times, try. Bend your right leg in, knee to chest. Tuck, 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 send your right leg all the way out. Again, bend your leg in, tuck, 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 send your right leg up high toward the ceiling. Last time, bend your right leg in, send your knee to your chest, pull your navel in tight, send your right leg through, tuck in, send your right leg all the way up. Good, gently soften your left leg, step your right toes back, you're back into a low lunge, Bring your hands on the inside of your left foot. Find that place, open your chest. Send your left foot back. Downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, send your right leg up high. Lower your right foot inside, low lunge. Okay, here we go. Shift your body weight forward. Send your left leg up. Point your toes, yeah? Yes, David, you got it, dear. So you're in your standing split at the moment. Bend your left leg, no hiking. Send your knee to your chest, tuck, tuck, tuck. Send your left leg through. Use your strong arms, push, tuck. Knee to chest, send your left leg all the way up high toward the ceiling, lift. Again, bend your left leg in, knee to chest, pull your navel in tight, send your left leg out. Good, you have two more times. Pull your navel in. Send your left leg up, find that place. Two more times, bend your left knee. Knee to chest, pull your navel in tight, send your left leg out. Good, pull your navel in tight, send your left leg up. Your final time, bend your left leg knee into chest, send your left leg out. Well done, send your left leg in, and left leg up high. Soften your right leg, your base leg. Gentle, step back into your low lunge. Find your place, hold. You can walk your hands inside of your right leg. Find that place, good. Let your hips marinate a little bit. Send your right toes back behind. So you're in a high plank. Hold right here just for a brief moment. I know we've done a lot of core this whole week, so we're not here for too long. But push your chest away. Think of these just as your scapular push-ups, so nice and easy here. Let your chest dump, and then push, and push, push, push. You got this, push. So you're going from your blades jutting to your blades broadening. Last, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Lower down to your knees. Great job. Okay, come down onto our bellies here. Okay, once you're on your belly, send your left leg at a 90 degree angle. So your left leg is 90, your right leg is straight back behind you. Once you're here, right leg straight, left leg bent 90 degrees. Left hand props against the floor, right forearm down. Pick your left knee off the floor, flex your foot. Pulse, lift, lift, lift. Think of your whole entity of the left leg lifting off the floor. You have eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep your left knee off the floor. Straighten out your left leg, straighten. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Continue, straighten. Your left leg hovering off the floor. Yes. You have eight more to finish. Continue, eight. You're sort of in a 90 degree angle. Your left leg is perpendicular with your body. Four more, press into your palm. Three more, three, two more, two, yes. One, good, release, switch your sides. Straighten your left leg, bend up your right leg, make sure you have enough space. All right, right hand props, left forearm on against the floor. Pick up your right leg, pulse, lift, flex your foot, lift, lift, 
flex your foot, whole entity of a right leg, lifts up, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, straighten out your right leg, go, straighten, straighten, it's still hovered, you got it, perpendicular with your body with your right leg, you got it, let's do eight more, eight more, come on, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, good release, come on to your hands and your knees, right away, hands and knees, again we lift, lift and lower, lift, lower, and not think about that prison cell again, oh, we have space, we have space, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, so again, just the heels of your palms up off of the floor, lift, 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 continue, lift, lift, so we give our hips a little bit of a break here, as we go back to the forearms, check again your position, still hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, 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 you have eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, we change fingers out to the right to the left, two more, two, one, right, left, let's go, lift, 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 the thing I like about this uh, particular exercise is that it's really, really accessible, but it gives you such a nice little pump in your forearms, right, so it doesn't seem like you're whole, doing a whole bunch, but I'm like really pumped right now, <laughs> I can barely do them, is my point, okay, you have eight more, let's do, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, good, really nice, find yourself in malasana so we can get back into our hips, so open up your uh, feet a little bit wider so your feet can go flat against the floor, use your elbows to help push your knees out to the right, to the left, if you need a little bit of like elevation for your hips, you can grab again something to sit on top of, all right, from here then, show me the top of your hand, grab your four fingers and pull back. And then show me your palm, take your four fingers, pull back. Continue to send your knees out to the right, to the left. Good, switch, top of your hands, show me, pull back. And then show me your palm, pull back. to your head, keep your knees out right, left, stand up, lift, come, come down, down, come back up, go lift, send your knees out to the right, to the left, come down, two more times, lift up, lower down, again, lift up, lift, lower back down, Okay, we're only going halfway this time. Up for two, down for two. Up for two, upright your spine. You got this, we got this. Let's go, up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Last four, up, lower. Pull your navel in tighter, up. No strain in your low back, strong legs. Two, last time. And lower down, good. From this place, use your elbows to help push your knees out to the right, left, of course. We'll stay on our left leg, and then start to straighten out through your right leg. So, you can either keep your right foot flat against the floor, or maybe you flex your foot, your right toes face the ceiling. 
If neither of these options are working for you, flatten out your right foot and sit right here. It's perfect. Stay right there. Hold. Your choice. If you have those both options accessible to you, meaning you can go up and down, we're gonna move from there then. Start down. Let's do it. Up for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. You feel something, yeah? Last time. And down for two. Very good. And stay. If you have your foot flat, let's bring it so your right toes face up. And then sit down. Once you're down there, keep your left foot super close to you. Use your right hand. Maybe grab onto your left ankle. If this doesn't work, don't worry about it. You can extend your right arm forward instead. And then reach your left arm all the way up and over. So your choice, whatever you want to do with your right arm, reach your left arm up and over. Find a nice side body stretch. One more breath, inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, open up your chest twist. Keep your left knee open. Inhale, come back up. Listen, extend your arms forward, I'm pulling you up. Lift, 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 lift. You're back onto your left foot. Plant your right foot down, switch. And find your other place, good. <laughs> Right, Rob? Okay. So, you're in your, um, bend on your right leg this time. Find your good place. And again, your foot can be flat. Your toes can face up toward this ceiling. If this is not working with the bend in your right leg, come up here, and that's perfect. If you have both options accessible to you, we'll start to move. All right, foot fly. Here we go. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Two more. Up for two. Down for two. Last time. Up for two. Down for two. Nice job. From this place, face your left toes up toward the ceiling if they weren't there. And then gently, gently sit down. All right. Once you're down there, your left hand grab a hold of your right ankle or extend your left arm forward. Right? Your choice. Find length, not only down the right side of your body, but also down the left side. So you're not immediately crunching, hollowing. You want to find length, extend, really reach. Keep your right knee pushed out to the right. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, open your chest. Flex your left foot. Inhale, gently come back up. All right, as if I'm pulling you up. So reach into your screen, pull, 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 lift yourself up. Nice. And then bring your right uh, hands down to the floor. Slip your left foot back into place. You're back into your malasana. Hang out right there. Use your elbows to help push your knees out to the right, to the left. Lift up very tall, hold. All right, continue to bring your left arm then inside of your left leg. Reach your right arm up high toward the ceiling, lift. All right, once you're there, maybe you can bind your left arm around your left leg and reach around for your right fingers, All right? If this is not working for you, that's totally fine. Continue to open up your chest like this. We're gonna add one balance to the mix, right? We've opened up our hips quite a bit. So let's see if we can add balance plus the hips. So if you do have this bind, your fingers touching back behind you, start to walk your feet a little bit closer. Now your right foot's gonna be your base. So keep your right foot flat against the floor. The moment you decide to stand, squeeze your left heel in close. Lift up tall, start to stand. And if this is not working for you, the bind, I have an option for you as well. All right, and you gently lower yourself down. If you are not binding back behind, grab from the outside and then same deal, as you walk your feet in a little bit closer, your right foot is your base, the moment you decide, 
keep your left heel, ooh, I fell out of it, keep your left heel glued in tight. So the angle is not obtuse, it's an acute angle, best you can manage it. Ooh, this one's much harder actually. Lift, and then maybe you can also just grab your uh, opposite forearm and gently lower yourself down. So this is akin to what we did earlier, kind of this whole business, keeping your knee up into your armpit. So let's give that one more try. If you're doing the bind from the back, it looks like this. You take your left arm around, reach your right arm around, and you grab for something, all right? And if this feels okay, you might reach for your right wrist and pull back, open your chest, and shift your weight into your right foot. Again, heel comes in close, and you start to stand. And with the transition, you wanna take your time so that you don't immediately fall out of it. So give that one more whirl, right? And we'll hang out there. Last time for four, for three, for two, for one, gently, gently lower. Good. And of course, what we do on one side, we must do to the other. So once you're back in place, reset, take your time, and we'll bind on the other side, or take the front side option instead, or the wrap around your leg option instead. So let's open up your right arm inside. Oh my God, Ellen, I'm so happy, that's so great. Um, this is basically your standing uh, garland pose, standing malasana, whatever you wanna call that. Awesome, Ellen, it is not easy, and it's like a little bit different than uh, Birds of Paradise, isn't it? Um, that is so great, awesome. Okay, so let's try, of course, the other side. You take your left arm then, wrap it around, your right arm, wrap it around, grab a hold of something, open your chest. And really think right now how close your right heel is to your hip and you want to preserve that as much as possible, right? The moment your heel moves away from your hip, you've lost it, right? It's really difficult to uh, bring back uh, your bind. So this time your weight is gonna be on your left foot. So you wanna bring your left foot in close. You have a very firm base. And then once you decide, shift your body weight into your left leg, snap your right heel in and stand. And let all those wobbles happen. You can see it on me. Lift, stand up tall, chest up tall, all those things. And of course, if you're doing it without the bind, you wrap instead of from the inside, you'll go right arm from the outside. Same deal though, your left foot is your base. Once you decide your left foot is firm against the floor, shift your body weight there, snap your right heel in and start to stand. And then maybe you grab onto your opposite forearm as well. You lift as much as possible, really hike your knee up into your armpit and then gently lower it down. So do one more round of that, play around with that. And again, from behind, if you're doing the bind, you open, open, wrap your right arm around your right leg, take your left arm around, reach for your foot, or reach for your other hand, I'm sorry. And then if you can, you grab for your left wrist. Looks like this side might be a little bit tricky for me. I'm gonna make it happen. Okay. And then again, your base is your left foot. Once you decide, you snap your right heel in and you begin to stand. So try that out for four. Take your time for three. For two, when you're finished with all of that, for one. And just take a break. Good, nice job. I know, Alicia, I figured like, why mess with the music when we're just focusing on uh, the pose, so yeah. Um, all right, so that's perfect. Let's go ahead and then from this place, take a seat all the way down, and then bring the soles of your feet together. We did a lot of hip steps, so let's continue to reinforce that. Lift up tall through your chest, and then from here, find a super long length in your spine, and then hinge just at your hips, right? So you find that length at your hips, or that crease, I'm sorry, at your hips, and continue to find some length out through the crown of your head, out through your tail. 
And then from this place, if you can afford to do so, you start to walk your arms forward, right? And if you know that like you're totally around it in this place, bring your hands back behind you to support you as you hinge forward. If you're reaching your arms forward, move a little bit out to the right to the left to find some space, to find some length. Continue to open up through your chest. And hang out right there. Sometimes I like to use my arms to help kind of push into my shins and open up my chest just a little bit more. We'll be here for the final few. For four. For three. Open your chest. For two. For one. And then gently come back up. We're actually going to return to Malasana real quick. So... Find your place back in your malasana. This next thing, be a little bit careful. If you can extend your arms, of course, but if you're like, oh my gosh, my knees feel like they're gonna snap like chicken wings, you gotta use your hands on the floor, right? So you gotta assess the situation and um, you decide yourself. So I'm gonna extend my arms forward, but think of letting your left knee then cave in. Right? And for me, I can sit down and it feels okay. And this is not because I'm more flexible or anything. It's just like proportionally, this happens to work, right? If this is not your case, use your hands against the floor to support you, right? So your weight is not kind of just completely dumped on your legs, right? You decide what the situation is. And this is kind of similar to what we did earlier when we were standing and doing our little hacky sack situation. So just feel that still your foot is flexed. Find that. And then gently return back to your malasana hold. Same thing with our right then. Allow your right knee to kind of just come inward and as much weight as you can manage, right? Again, if that doesn't suit you, you're propping yourself up here. And this is definitely not one of those things where you're like, oh, when I get better, I'll just let go of my hands, right? There's no like better or worse, this is just a situation, right? An observation is all it is. And let's gently bring ourselves back through center here. And then let's bring hands onto the floor. Take your knees out to the right to the left. And we'll move into frog. Frog, so our knees out to the right to the left. We did singles earlier, right? One side, one side. We'll do both now. When you check yourself out, you're looking for a 90 degree angle. Your knee to hip, hip to knee is one long line. And then you have the 90 degrees uh, from your knee out to your shin over there. Okay, if you're on a hard surface, um, maybe you want to put a towel underneath or something like this. And then if this feels okay, then flex your feet, start to walk your forearms, elbows down to the floor. And then hang out right here. This frog is one of those uh, poses that you need to sort of just hang out in. Uh, and it's not going to be this magical uh, instant gratification type pose. It takes so much time um, and a ton of patience, of course. But with time, with patience, you'll find that your knees do go out to the right, to the left a little bit more. And the big incentive in my mind to get more open in our hips in this position is just that the more open your hips are, the more your knees can push out to the right, to the left, the less it's hard surface on hard surface, right? You're really allowing this inner thighs, that softer fleshy part of your leg to press against the floor as opposed to having that really uh, hard surface against a uh, potentially hardwood floor. So that's another incentive. Uh, to kind of open these hips up a little bit more. We just have a little bit left. So we're gonna finish off this entire time with our little frog. And I will start another video. I wanna do just uh, a couple more things uh, if you want to stay along. We're just gonna finish this whole video with our froggy. And every exhale, see if you can let your hips soften. Allow your knees to push out to the right, to the left. Allow your hips to melt a little bit closer 
uh, down toward the floor. You've got this.